Hola, everybody. This is Northern Beard. And I am the Mightiest Beard. And tonight, or today, we're bringing you another episode of Beardlefield. We sure are, Steven. Beardlefield yep. is a delicious series where Northern Beard and myself sit down with a delicious craft beer. I said delicious a lot, but that's all right. It's an extra delicious yep. episode. And uh, we're going to play some, some Battlefield 3 while we review that beer. We're going to go ahead and dump your in-game comms down, guys. Enjoy the episode. Thanks again for tuning in. We appreciate you. <laughs> we love you. What's going on tonight there, steve -Owen? Greetings, William. Are you prepared to drink a delicious uh, alcoholic beverage? I am, I am. Made out of barley, hops, yeast, and water. Yeah. And in this case... Pecans. Pecans? Yeah. Uh, what brewery is this from tonight? Uh, we're drinking the Abita Pecan Harvest Ale. Nice, fitting for the part time of their. Year. Yeah, part of their harvest series, which they release every year. Uh, they have three different uh, harvest uh, beers that they put out, which use only real flavors. So like. This pecan beer has no artificial flavors. It's it's made with real Louisiana pecans, um, which is where they're located in Louisiana. Yeah, I, there's I a saw couple, that. There's a That's strawberry cool. one. There's a strawberry one and some 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 fruit that I don't recognize. Uh, that we can get. But we're having the pecan, which comes in at a whopping five point two percent, very reasonable really ABV. Uh, only twenty IBUs, so this is going to be a pretty Pre-tame pre beer. Pre beer. Wow, pretty ah. pretty tame winning. Yep, Louis out of Louisiana, five point two percent. Yeah. Uh, uses only Louisiana grown uh, pecans that are toasted to perfection, according to their website. I was gonna say, I saw that it said they said toasted to perfection. These are legitimate pecans, so that's or pecans. Yeah, yeah, so that's no, no fucking, no joke. Yeah, they ain't they, fronting, as it were. Yeah. Abita Abita's apparently not a uh, not a fronting brewery. Yeah, do you want to uh, do you want to crack it open? Uh, I do. Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead. Just gotta kill. Try to open this as fast as possible without blowing it up. A little pour action. Uh, pour is a very nice pumpkiny orange, like you might expect out of a uh, uh, fall beer. Very clear, like. Fucking crystal clear, like crisp. Uh, pretty carbonated, bunch of carbonation sticking to the side of the glass. Got about a finger and a half of, looks like whitish, maybe a little bit off-white, eggshell colored uh, head. Pretty, pretty flurper. Okay, 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 okay. Um, what do you got on yours? You got your yours poured? I'm pouring it right now, and uh, yeah, nice. Nice hazy, uh, significant amount of bubbles kind of going up there. A little light head, uh, a little frothy foam there, about half half a finger, three quarters of a finger. Carbonation subsiding. It's uh, it's pretty mellow. It's nothing too crazy. And uh, do you uh, are you pouring yours into just a just a regular old pint, pint glass? Pint glass for me. Yep. Roger that. I'm just, I mean, your, your head is always so different than mine. I'm just curious if the glass might have something to do with it. Because I, I poured mine pretty light and got about a finger and a half. It's down to about a half a finger, but it was definitely more when I initially poured. Anyway! Yeah. <laughs> um, here's your $2. Yeah, right. Light copper. Uh, that's really what I got. Yep. Um, not much of a retention. Not much of a lacing. It's like a lazy lace. Why don't you go ahead and uh, get a little nose on this shit there, Steve-O. Yeah. Hmm. You know, the most prominent smell, and it reminds me a lot of the winter beers and the stouts and such and the porters, is the smoky flavor. I am imagine that's going to come from the toasted uh, cons there, and that's... It's pleasant. It's not bad at all. I mean, it, it's it's, it's sort of it's sort of mild, and you can kind of you can almost pick up on the sweetness um, of that roasted toasted goodness uh, around the end there. It's nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely for this. It's you're definitely getting the pecan flavor of maybe some toffee and caramel. Yeah, yeah, uh, very very toffee. 
it's very malt uh, forward. Mm -hmm. I'll say that much. It's not. Uh, there's definitely not a lot of hop action going on. No. You're not getting any a lot of fruit. You're mostly just getting the pecanny sweetness, which oh, I, sh I shot the stop sign. Now it's just it's just rolling. Hi, stop sign. Nice. What you doing? Oh, there you go. Right. Um, clean another sniff here. Little Maybe there's character. some like uh, like you said like some smoky like woody characteristics. Well, I imagine that's from the toasted the toasted pecans. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty nice though. I mean, it's uh, you know, pretty mild, nutty. That's that's really it. I mean, and I, I yeah. Not that it's I've not had an aggressive. Before, uh, it's not an aggressive smell. No. Mostly just uh, mostly just just chill. Just very yeah, chill yeah. kind of beer. You want to go in for a swig? Yeah, sure. I'll handle this. We have a pretty decisive hold right now in this fucking tunnel. Yeah, yeah. Um, not like a lot of flavor. Not a lot of the little, pecan flavor, or just flavor not a lot of any flavor really. I mean, it's there. It mostly just tastes like uh, malt. Like a multi beer, but it's it's very subdued. Uh, well, the that, pecan is, that is, is definitely all stuffed up. Or? I mean, it could be, but uh, I had a little something wild, and that was way more aggressive than this. And I could still I could still taste uh, taste that earlier. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, oh, I, I got a little bit of a cold going on. So, ooh, I just clipped a guy. Uh, I got a little bit of a cold going on, so why don't you go ahead and, and and take a sniff and or take a swig and see what you taste? Yeah, you give me a hot second here to get some more safe. Oh God. Oh man, that's uh. That's a nice, pleasant sweetness it's got there. I mean, that's that caramel toffee note really comes into play right there. Yep. Double action. Awesome. I'll take a third. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some toffee, caramel, a little bit of that pecan. The less pecan than I is was it's just a roasted for. nut. There, it's it, it's yeah, it's it's. It's less like putting a candy... Like, I really wanted this beer to be like putting a candied pecan in my mouth, you know? Oh, uh, really? Just like a delicious, sweet, fall snack, you know? Like right. a bar snack. It's got very, very fall-esque characteristics to it. and, and, and Oh, it totally does. It definitely does. I mean, this this thing is, is definitely the, the fall months all in a jar, or glass, rather. Yeah, we got this hall on lockdown. I mean, I'm I'm really digging it. That's sweet. I'm, I am, and I'm not. I mean, I am for the most part. Um, but you know, it's not it's not my favorite. It's just like it's pretty mild, I guess. Is is I mean, I was hoping for something a little bit more. Right. Oh, right in the it is like you said ass. though. It's it's really pl it's really pleasant. I, mean, I guess I guess I sh I shouldn't have expected like a. Like a big, like huge flavor out of a five point two percent, just kind of harvest ale. I mean, it it does exactly, it it does what's on the bottle, right? Like, honest, honestly, like I just got done saying, like I was expecting more. I don't really know why I was expecting more. Like what it says on the bottle, pecan harvest ale. It's basically a brown ale with pecans. That's exactly what correct. It like. That's that's what I would have called this a nice brown ale. Um... Which is what it is. I mean, it's American brown ale. So, um, you know, it, it. I don't want to skip to the mouthfeel right now, but the. It's got a really, really nice toasted pecan finish. I mean, that part it really stays true to the name of its beer there by. Yep. Punching you with, with that. Okay. Thought that was a friendly grenade. Sure wasn't. Did you dive on it, Chucky oh, 3 yeah, style? I was like, yeah, I was Chucky 3 all over the hell on that thing. Mm. And the more the more I sip this and the more that I like dial my expectations back, I, the more I'm liking it. I mean, this is a this is a super easy fall beer to drink, man. This thing is this yeah. thing is Session City. Um, very oh, smooth. Jesus. 
Some guy just jammed his AUG A3 up my fucking ass, just pulled the trigger. Yeah. Great. I bet it fit right in. Alright. I don't know where I'm going with that one. Yeah. Let's take it easy. Got a cold, everyone. The, uh... The humor isn't on, uh... Isn't really on par tonight. Um... So yeah, let's go ahead and let's actually move on to the mouthfeel. Yeah, um, very smooth. Yeah, it's really smooth, pretty light. Very light. Uh, certainly not, uh, not refreshing. That. Yeah, it's definitely refreshing. It's not something that really coats. It's not something that has a lot of linger to it. Just kind of, uh, just kind of, you know, take a sip, taste it for a second, Ooh, and then it's. Double. Uh, and then it goes away, and which is which is nice, you know. Fucking grenade out. Um, get a little tingle from the very slight uh, carbonation. Oh, promoted! Fuck. Um, nice job on the promotion, by the way. Thanks, buddy. Just medic just train around. galore just, in the just, back I'm hall. Just reviving. Yeah, just reviving everyone. On you and two. I died, sorry. Right on two. Still managed to spawn on you somehow. Um, anything else in the mouthfeel there, Steve-O? Nah, man, this is a really, really drinkable, smooth, refreshing, crisp, and just roasty fall beer. I would love to have a six-pack of this and sit by the fire. I mean, I'm... I, I'm yeah. I, from the sounds of it, I think I'm more impressed with this than you are. Yeah, you are a bit. Um, I do, I do like it. Um, I'll go ahead and go into my overall on this. I mean, I do Please. like it. It's, uh, it's very nice. It's very refreshing. It's very, it's very crisp. It's very fall evening. Uh, it's a very fall evening kind of beer. Yeah. Um, hold so here. it's, it's, it's very good. Like I said, like I said, I mean, I feel like I'm talking it down more than I'm yeah. kind of meaning to. Yeah, smile or something. Um, like, and then you'll start thinking happier thoughts. I'm thinking happy thoughts. I mean, I'm liking it. Um, I'm going to give this a three. Yeah, three. I'm going to give it just a straight up three. Good. Um, above average. A uh, lot of good good flavor. Uh, three, three, two, five. I'll give this a 3.25. Okay. Um, ab way above average. I mean, I guess not way above average, but above average uh, for fall beers. It's not, uh, it's not a pumpkin beer, which I uh, always commend. Um, not that I hate all pumpkin beers. I'm not a, I'm not a hater. Um, but it's nice to see some breweries just be like, no. Right. The, uh, yeah, I'm not going to make another pumpkin beer. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's GG. Which I think, I mean, I'm, they, they might make a pumpkin beer, but who knows. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, I mean, so uh, 3.25, you said? Yeah, 3.25 for me, which I know is a little convoluted in there. Uh. All right. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just push this right to a 4.25. I mean, I I really enjoy this. Um, this right. is a wonderful beer. I'm absolutely going to buy it again. I'm gonna buy a nice six pack of it the next time I go up to camp, um, which will be this weekend, which is nice. about three months after this video comes out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, absolutely, though, man. I mean, I mean, I can't I can't stress enough how 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 happy I am with this beer. I mean, it's it's just hitting all the right notes. And the pecan, um, you know, beer flavor that it's putting in there, you know, with the actual Louisiana pecans is, is pleasant. I mean, I I was a little hesitant at first, but I like it. It's really nice. So that that gives it, you know, a, a, a really full, full beard or a, an adept wizard beard. Um, you know, what do you think? I yeah, I definitely think it this is a round upper for sure. Like three point two five I'm I'm I mean it sounds like a little bit low for me, but um it's definitely so you I mean you gave it the four point two five, that lands it right around like three point seven five six or three point seven five or something like that. But it's definitely worth rounding up. It's a beer you should you should find. You should try it, you should drink it, you should enjoy it. I'd love this because it's a. It's just a really nice, like like we said before. This repetition is like apparently the winner here, but yeah. it's refreshing. It's a good campfire beer that's not like pumpkin flavored. It's just there's a lot of there's a lot of good. Yep, absolutely. 
You should stay in this, and this Havilland guy will get out. Yeah. Um, Alright guys, so that's going to do it then. This will be a uh, wizard beard from the Mighty Beards of Gaming for the Abita, or Abita. It's Abita. Abita Pecan Harvest Ale. So uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, like the video. Uh, subscribe to us here on YouTube. Check out the links below in the description for Facebook and Twitter. And uh, please tell your friends. We appreciate any and all support. Let us know um, how you think we did and what you want to see and all that jazz. And, uh, yeah. That being said, I am Northern Beard. And I am the Mightiest Beard. And this has been another glorious episode of Beardlefield, and we'll see you in a couple days for the next one. Thanks for tuning in.